Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Of course, my name is Blitzwinger, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, of course, a brand new LEGO Dimensions news update, and today, we have a pretty cool infographic to share with you guys. So this was something that was forwarded to me uh, via, of course, the fine folks at Warner Brothers, and they uh, said, hey, this is something that we are releasing, so if you want to share it and like let people know how the actual release schedule is going to be, that is something that you are more than free to do. So I was like, this looks awesome, it's super duper handy. Because, of course, if you're going to be like me and trying to collect all of them and find all of them over time, this is something that will be very, very handy, almost like a checklist, which I always appreciate because it's a right, nice kind of convenient way to go about figuring out what is your collection. So with that in mind, let's get rocking and let's get rolling. So you're going to be looking at something that says Wave 1 right now. Of course, the game is coming out September 27th, and this is the entire release lineup for Wave 1. So remember... Just wave one. There's going to be five waves in total going from September 27th all the way up to May 10th of 2016, which is quite a big time span. Like, I was kind of surprised by how far and away the fifth wave is going to be, but maybe there will be other waves after that. Maybe there'll be another game. Who knows? So, with that in mind, Let's begin. Of course, the starter pack will be available for purchase, which will come with, of course, Batman, Wildstyle, Gandalf, and the Batmobile. So a pretty good package right away. You get a vehicle, three characters, of course, 14 levels, uh, three hub worlds as well. So a pretty good comprehensive package as it is. However, then, of course, there are additional figures that you can acquire. And the figures come in three different forms. There's going to be level packs. There's going to be team packs and fun packs. You'll see right here on the lineup the things that are color-coded in yellow boxes. Those are the level Level packs. Those are going to be the most expensive of the bunch. Then we have the team packs and then we have the fun packs. So with that in mind, of course, let's run these down. So first and foremost, you're going to have the Back to the Future level pack, which is going to feature, of course, Marty McFly, the Portal level pack and the Simpsons level pack. Then we get into the team packs, which is going to be the Jurassic World uh, team pack and Scooby-Doo. I kind of wish that for the Jurassic World pack, they would have maybe put Claire Deering in there and uh, Owen, because they are kind of the main characters of the film. Of course, you could argue that the kids were also, but I think that Owen and Claire could be a, a good lineup. I kind of am surprised that they went with the ACU, but hey, I think it's kind of cool that you still get an ACU minifig. Uh, speaking of cool things, I'm really psyched about this next team pack, which is going to be the Scooby-Doo one. I'm really, really stoked that that one is going to be coming out pretty early. Uh, then, of course, we move on into the fun packs, which there is the most of. In fact, I believe there are 15 in total uh, for the fun packs. So the fun packs will feature, of course, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Emmett, Bad Cop, Benny, Jay, Nia, Zane, Gollum, Legolas, Gimli, Laval, Cragger, Eris, and the Wicked Witch from the Wizard of Oz. So this will be all of the figures that are going to be available on store shelves come September 27th. So when you walk into the store and you say to yourself, okay, I'm, I'm going to buy the starter pack and maybe a couple or one or two or however many uh, of the Wave 1 figures, these are going to be the things that are on selection. But, of course, as you know, there are still other characters that have been announced and confirmed. So let's discuss those other ones, shall we? So now we move on to Waves 2, 3, 4, and 5. Wave number 2 is going to be released on November 3rd, 2015. Now, the one thing that I wasn't able to confirm right away was whether or not this is an international release date, or is this only North America, or uh, is this going to be across the globe on November 3rd, this is when it's coming out. I'm not 100% certain of that. Once I figure that out, I might, might put like an annotation or something on the video so that you guys would be notified of that information. But nonetheless, let's discuss wave number two. So this is November 3rd, so we're talking about a month or so, a month and a few days uh, after wave one comes out. Then these are the characters that will be available. We're going to get the level pack for Doctor Who which is going to be, of course, the Doctor along with the TARDIS uh, and the K-9 also. Then we get the Team Pack, which is going to be Cole and Kai, as well as the Blade Bike and the Boulder Bomber. So that's going to be that lineup. Now, of course, don't forget that the fun packs, all of them feature not just the character. They also feature a vehicle. So, like, Cyborg comes with a Cyber Guard. Emmett comes with the uh, Emmett Excavator. Benny comes with Benny's spaceship. The bad cop came with a police car. So don't forget that it's not just the minifig that comes in those fun packs. Uh, so speaking of the fun packs, we have a couple of the Simpsons fun packs being released here. So we have Bart, who will be with the Gravity Splinter, or sorry, Sprinter. Uh, then also, of course, Krusty the Clown, who will come with his clown bike. And 
last but certainly not least for wave number two is going to be the Lego Movie's own, the Unikitty character, which is awesome. I'm psyched to see that one. But this is probably the wave that I'm most looking forward to, and that is wave number three. Wave 3 is going to be coming out on January 19th, 2016. So obviously that means uh, about two months, two and a half months after wave number two. So quite a bit of a bigger time gap between wave two and wave three. But this is the one that I'm super duper psyched for because we get Peter Venkman level pack, which means of course Ghostbusters. Yay. Sign me up. Uh, which is also going to have the Octo-1 or Ecto-1, sorry, and the Ghost Trap in that pack. Then this is the other one that I'm super duper psyched for. Of course, if you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of DC Comics. Comics, and this is a pretty cool team pack right here of the Joker and Harley Quinn, which is really, really cool. So you're going to get the Joker's Chopper and the Queen Mobile in there as well. So very, very cool little lineup of figs. And then we get to the three fun packs that are going to be coming out, which is going to be the Cyberman from, of course, the Doctor Who series. Also, he will be coming along with the Dalek or the Dalek, I think is the more proper pronunciation of that we're also going to be getting finally doc brown so we get to have the two main characters from back to the future of course at that point and last but certainly not least representing the ninjago franchise is mr sensei Wu, who will also come along with the flying white dragon doc brown by the way is going to come with the traveling time train then we move on to march 15th so another about two months or so after that a little under that, uh, we get wave number four, which is going to be March 15th, 2016. And this is going to have the following characters. For the Midway Arcade level pack, which was uh, a big surprise, of course, we're going to be getting a gamer minifig. Of course, the most, uh, I think this is the most generic of the bunch uh, of the characters that we are getting because it's just like, oh, it's a gamer. But I guess it would have been really difficult to pick. Like, what do you do for Midway Arcade? There's so many different games. What minifig do you do? It would be kind of challenging, I guess, to select one. Uh, but but he's also going to come along with an arcade machine, which I'm actually looking forward to because I think that could be a really cool like Lego build. And he's going to come with the, I think it's called the G6154, no, 55 Spy Hunter, I think something like that. It's a really, really complex name, but it's something like that. Uh, and then we get three fun packs. So no team packs at that point. The, the, all the team packs by Wave 3 are going to be out. Uh, of course, then we get to the fun packs, though. We have Aquaman with the Aqua Watercraft. We have Superman with the Hover Pod. And we have Stay Puft Marshmallow Man with a Terror Dog. So that's going to be a very strong wave as well. Uh, apart from, of course, I, I know maybe some people are like, oh, Midway Arcade, I'm not really sure about that one. I get that. Um, but I think the other three figs are really, really cool. And speaking of three figs, the final wave, wave number five, is going to uh, feature three really, really cool minifigs. First of which, the one that I'm most excited for out of this bunch is Slimer with the Slime Shooter. And the only reason why I'm excited about Slimer more so than Bane is because Slimer is uh, a minifig that I don't have. So it's going to be really cool to add, um, add that one to the lineup, so to speak, or have that one. Uh, then we're also going to get from Ninjago Lloyd, uh, but he's actually in his golden attire, so not the green Lloyd. He's actually going to be the golden ninja, the legendary ninja that is known as Lloyd. And he's also going to come along with his golden dragon, so that's pretty neat. And then last but certainly not least, you're going to get Bane along with his drill driver. And of course, you might know what the drill driver is because he has used that vehicle before in, I think, all the previous LEGO Batman games. He used it in one, he used it in two... Oh, wait, did he use it in one? Yes, he did. And then in two, he used it. And I don't think he used it in three because I don't remember him utilizing it. But it was in the game, so that's cool. All right, so with that in mind, guys, there you have it. That is the entire lineup of LEGO Dimensions, at least for the first five waves. Now, here's where I wanted to ask you guys a few questions. Number one, would you have preferred for all the figures to all just come out at once, or do you like this kind of wave method? For me personally, I do like it because I think, A, it allows you to save up so that you can get the ones that you want over time, and you don't just have to, like, you know, rush out and be like, oh my god, everybody's gonna buy Slimer, so I have to get it now. So I think it's kind of convenient that you can kind of, like, save up and then slowly but surely buy the ones that you want and select the ones that you want or collect the ones that you want so i do like this line uh this kind of wave thing idea personally i also think it's better for the game because it kind of gives the game more longevity and you're kind of can look forward to things at all times you're like oh there's new stuff coming on november and then there's new stuff in january and then there's new stuff in march and then there's new stuff in may so you're constantly like looking forward to new components now of course it's all gonna matter about how well it's executed so don't get me wrong we're going into this 
thinking, okay, these are all going to be fantastic. So we'll see. Of course, we'll see if these are all going to be worth it. But I'm staying hopeful. I'm staying positive because so far the LEGO games, as far as value goes, they definitely always deliver. So with all that being said, of course, I would love to hear your opinions and thoughts in the comment section below. I also would love to hear from you, lovely folks, if you could write comments, something along the lines of like wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. And then next to each one of those, type in what is your favorite of the bunch? Like, is there a level pack that you're really excited for? Is there a team pack that you're excited for? Is there a fun pack that you're really for, are looking forward to? Let me know in the comments section below. That being said, of course, as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Have an absolutely fanful, fantastic day, and I will indeed catch you lovely folks next time. Peace out. See you later. Alligators.